Extraction is the process of removing the active cannabinoid profile from the flower material or plant material of a cannabis plant. So what we're looking for in that sense is the THC, CBD, CBN, um, as well as the uh, terpenes and flavonoid compounds that make up the profile um, of a cannabis plant. So a lot of different ways to achieve that goal, but the idea is to kind of gather all those elements together in one place to use uh, either medically or recreationally. Cannabis extracts can be used for a variety of things. Uh, I guess one example would be the dabbing. Um, a lot of people using concentrates to um, consume in that form. Um, by creating an oil um, that can be used um, to smoke, uh, we use it both for dabbing, um, for introducing into vape pens and things of that nature. Um, also, uh, concentrates can be used to be put into edibles as a topical um, in a variety of different ways. Um, the main differenti the differentiator, I guess, between uh, concentrates is whether they've been activated or not, and that will determine the way in which you use them. So activated concentrates can be used topically, edibly, um, and a variety of other ways, suppository, um, to achieve um, the effects of the concentrate that you're using. There's a lot of different methods for extracting cannabis. Um, I'll start with the first, um, the first method or extracting cannabis oil. Um, first method I'm going to talk about um, is ice water extraction. Ice water extraction, um, basically what you do is you take your plant material and you're going to introduce it to very cold water and the idea is to loosen the trichomes off of the plant material which are uh, cannabinoid laden. Um, because they are denser than water, um, you're then able to kind of separate the trichomes from the plant material um, and sift them to find uh, the most desirable resin from your plant. That's one way to do it. Um, butane hash oil is another way. Uh, people are creating um, hash oil by using butane. Butane hash oil is a highly effective method uh, to remove can cannabinoids um, from plant material. Um, there's a lot of debate about whether uh, using concentrates made from butane hash oil uh, can cause adverse health effects down the road because um, of the substance that you're using for a solvent. Um, another method would be CO2. Uh, CO2 is also highly effective at separating cannabinoids from the plant material. Um, this method's great. Um, both B BHO and CO2, uh, a lot of these producers are using ethanol to further clean. Um, their concentrates after extracting and the reason for this is that although butane and CO2 do pull a lot of the cannabinoids off of the plant material it also pulls some lipids and waxes and other things that are undesirable um, so they use ethanol to further clean their concentrate. One other method would be uh, ethanol extraction from the get-go. Um, this is slightly less efficient than butane or CO2 as far as removing cannabinoids uh, initially from the plant material. Uh, one thing that you do find though with the alcohol extraction or ethanol is that you pull a wider range of cannabinoids uh, and other things. Uh, unfortunately chlor chlorophyll is water sol soluble um, which is one of the things alcohol extracts so the, the, that method would be described as quick wash ethanol and one of the ways to stop the uh, kind of chlorophyll saturation into your concentrate is by using extremely cold ethanol um, by using quick washes and this to me produces the uh, fullest plant profile and, and, and when you concentrate that plant profile um, you wind up with a very tasty representation of uh, the original plant. At Honest Marijuana, my preferred method of extraction would be the ice water extraction. Um, it yields a very tasty and very highly refined product. Um, if if the right person is uh, do you know taking care of the process, um, no solvent is used, uh, or excuse me, no volatile solvents. Um, so you're left with a really nice uh, product 
uh, mostly trichome heads, uh, which can be dabbed, uh, can be used in vaporizer pens, and other types of things. So, uh, very, very nice. Uh, another method we're using is the ethanol extraction. Um, as I described earlier, the ethanol extraction pulls a very wide plant profile uh, as far as the oil is concerned, and when done properly, can yield an extremely taste, tasty, uh, dabbable, vapable uh, product um, that can also be used for a variety of other things. Um, so we're using the ethanol extraction uh, because we feel it really has a the most uh, significant taste compared to some of the other concentrates. Uh, alcohol extraction works basically by we start with a, our original material which we wash quickly in an extremely cold ethanol solution which pulls all the terpenes, all the THC and other active cannabinoids off of the plant material um, which uh, after we do that we take our uh, oil laden alcohol uh, and we evaporate off the alcohol leaving us with a highly concentrated THC uh, solution well, which we then um, further uh, kind of enhance to be left with a very nice um, highly refined uh, dabbable, vapable um, cannabis oil which has not had any uh, poisonous materials like butane uh, used to extract it. Alcohol extraction is going to leave you with a very similar product to uh, a CO2 or butane extraction. You're left with a highly refined cannabis oil that can be used in a number of ways. Uh, as a vapable product, as a dabbable product, um, if it's an, uh, an activated solution, you can use it for capsules, um, for uh, edible use, um, so a wide range of uses from that alcohol solution or ethanol. Uh, one of the benefits of alcohol extraction is that it pulls a very wide profile of the plant, uh, res resulting in a very tasty concentrate. Um, we are also not using any poisonous materials like butane to uh, achieve those results, so we feel good about that. 100% uh, like organic, clean alcohol uh, extraction, uh, you can feel good that you're not consuming any harmful residue left by a butane process. One of the downsides of alcohol extraction is that uh, it, it also attracts things like plant alkaloids and chlorophyll, which are water soluble. Uh, one of the ways we try to remove those things from our concentration or our concentrate is to uh, not get them in the first place. And one of the ways we do that is by using an extremely cold process, which locks up the chlorophyll, which helps uh, in our final product.